I'm back and these are my tips on dishwashers. I'll start off by saying the tips that I have are for kind of a more ideal situation. They may not always work in every kitchen layout, but if you are able to fit one or two of these tips into your kitchen design, it will make a huge difference, trust me. So let's get straight into it as always. Tip number one is to actually have two dishwashers. If you are renovating your kitchen because you see it as a place that you're going to entertain, you're gonna have lots of guests, then those guests also come with lots of dishes. So having two dishwashers means that when you're entertaining, you can constantly have clean dishes and you don't have anything kind of piling up on the side of your sink, on the worktop, because the dishwasher is full and then your guests are seeing the dirty dishes because not everybody has a second kitchen to kind of hide the mess. So if you have a second kitchen, great, another place to put another dishwasher. But if you don't, then I would say having two dishwashers in your kitchen is just a really nice feature. Even if you're not entertaining, I would say having two dishwashers is great. Say if one dishwasher is clean and you just don't have the time, say it's the morning, you made breakfast, you rushing off to work or take the kids to school and you've got a clean dishwasher and now you can't put your dirty dishes in there. You can now put your dirty dishes into your second dishwasher and unload the clean one when you get back from work or when you have time later on. It just kind of means that you always have somewhere to put your dishes. <laughs> Two dishwashers, definitely consider it. I think in the US, this is more common. Houses are generally smaller in the UK, but if you have the space, I definitely recommend. Okay, the next one is quite a common one, but it's just to have your dishwasher close by to the sink. Though you don't actually have to rinse your plates before you put them in the dishwasher, you're only meant to really scrape off the big chunks of food and put them in your dishwasher. Everyone likes to kind of scrape, rinse, and then load the dishwasher. So I would say having your dishwasher and sink close by just means that you can stand in one place without having to kind of move around the kitchen to clean up. You just stay at the sink, scrape, rinse, load. So if you like the points that I've made so far in this video, don't forget to give it a like just to let me know that you guys enjoy this type of video and I'll keep creating more like this for you. All right, back to the video. Okay, so this next point is probably my favorite. It's something that my mom has had in her kitchen for about 20 years now and it's been amazing. It's just makes loading the dishwasher faster. It just means you don't have to kind of bend down all the time. And that is to raise your dishwasher. It doesn't have to be raised so high. It literally may be about 50 centimeters off the floor and it just makes the world of difference. So that means when the door is open, it's kind of, when you pull the trays out, they're at waist height. So there's no bending down ever again. I know there are dishwashers that you can, that you have to bend down to open and then you can bring the tray up, but sometimes that mechanism can become faulty and then it just ruins the whole point of having that. And also you still have to bend down to open the dishwasher and then put the tray back down. So when my clients come to me and they mention that type of dishwasher, I usually suggest raising the dishwasher. So this is also great if you're more of an elderly family or you have elderly people within your household. So it makes it a lot easier. They don't have to be bending down all the time. But even for younger people, it just makes it a lot easier. So if you have kids, that maybe you want them to load and unload the dishwasher. It just makes them doing the chore a lot easier. Well, getting them to do the chore a lot easier. Though this is my favorite tip or kind of position for a dishwasher, it doesn't work in all kitchen layouts because it does mean that you would have your sink and a tall housing close by to each other, which doesn't always happen. Sometimes your sink is in the middle of say a long worktop run. So if this is something that was important to you, sometimes you might have to kind of compromise on not having your sink in the middle. Maybe the sink will be off center or say if you want your sink under a window and the window doesn't work to be near a bank of tall units, then this also wouldn't work or you'd have to compromise not having the sink under the window. So as I said at the beginning of this video, it does depend on the layout of your kitchen 
but this is definitely my favorite one. So if you can fit it, definitely recommend. My parents have had this in their kitchen for almost 20 years. And I think when they change their kitchen up in the future, I think that feature is gonna stay. So if you found this video helpful and interesting, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you enjoyed watching this one, I definitely suggest to watch this one next. It's on why you need an induction hob. And if you thought you knew all of the reasons, I bet there's some in this video that you didn't know. Or if you're still kind of on the edge, you don't really wanna let go of your gas hob, this one is definitely gonna help you out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.